Matit Yahu, Matthew 27 When the morning was come, all the chief priests and elders of the people took counsel against Yahusha to put him to death. And when they had bound him, they led him away and delivered him to Pontius Pilate, the governor. Then Yahuda, which had betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself and brought again the thirty pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders, saying, I have sinned in that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And they said, What is that to us? See you to that. And he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple, and departed, and went, and hanged himself. And the chief priests took the silver pieces and said, It is not lawful for to put them into the treasury, because it is the price of blood. And they took counsel and bought with them the potter's field to bury strangers in. Wherefore that field was called the field of blood unto this day. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by the prophet, saying, And they took the thirty pieces of silver, the price of him that was valued, whom they of the children of Yashadael did value, and gave them for the potter's field, as Yahuwah commanded me. And Yahusha stood before the governor, and the governor asked him, saying, Are you the king of the Yahudim? And Yahusha said unto him, As you say. And when he was accused of the chief priests and elders, he answered nothing. Then said Pilate unto him, Hear you not how many things they witness against you? And he answered him to never a word, so much so that the governor marveled greatly. Now at that feast the governor was wont to release unto the people a prisoner, at whom they would. And they had then a notable prisoner called Bar-Abba, Therefore, when they were gathered together, Pilate said unto them, Whom will ye that I hath release unto you, Bar Abba or Yahusha, which is called Mashiach? For he knew that for envy they had delivered him. When he was set down on the judgment seat, his woman sent unto him, saying, Have nothing to do with that just man. For I have suffered many things this day in a dream because of him. But the chief priests and elders persuaded the multitude that they should ask at Bar Abba and destroy Yahusha. The governor answered and said unto them, Whether of the two will ye that I release unto you? They said, Eth Bar Abba. Pilate said unto them, what shall I do then with Yahusha, which is called Mashiach? They all said unto him, Let him be crucified. And the governor said, Why? What evil has he done? But they cried out the more, saying, Let him be crucified. When Pilate saw that he could prevail nothing, but that a rather, rather, but that rather a tumult was made, he took water and washed his hands before the multitude, saying, I am innocent of the blood of this, rather, of this just person. See ye to it. Then answered all the people and said, His blood be on us and on our children. Then released he at Bar Abba unto them. And when he had scourged Yahusha, he delivered him to be crucified. Then the soldiers of the governor took Yahusha into the common hall and gathered unto him at the whole band of soldiers. And they stripped him and put on him a scarlet robe. And when they had plaited a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head and a reed in his right hand. And they bowed the knee before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Yahudim! And they spit upon him and took the reed and smote him on the head. 
and after that they mocked him. They took the robe off from him and put his own raiment on him and led him away to crucify him. And as they came out, they found a man of Cyrene, Shimon by name. Him they compared, rather, compelled to bear his pole. And when they were come unto a place called Golgoleth, that is to say, a place of a skull, they gave him vinegar to drink, mingled with gall. And when he had tasted thereof, he would not drink. And they crucified him, and parted his garments, casting lots, that it might be fulfilled at which was spoken by the prophet. They parted my garments among them, and ca I rather, and upon my vesture did they cast lots. And at, rather, and sitting down they watched him there, and set up over his head his accusation written, This is Yahusha, the king of the Yahudim. Then were there two thieves crucified with him, one on the right hand and another on the left. And they that passed by reviled him, wagging their heads and saying, You that destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you be the son of Elohim, come down from the pole. Likewise also the chief priests, mocking him, with the scribes and elders, said, He saved others. Himself he cannot save. If he be the king of Yashedael, let him now come down from the pole, and we will believe him. He trusted in Elohim, let him deliver him now, if he will have him. For he said, I am the son of Elohim. The thieves also which were crucified with him cast the same in his teeth. Now from the sixth hour there was darkness over all the land unto the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour Yahusha cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama azavtani, rather, azavtani, that is to say, my El, my El, why have you forsaken me? Some of them that stood there, when they heard that, said, This man calls for Eliyahu. And straightway one of them ran and took a sponge and filled it with vinegar and put it on a reed and gave him to drink. The rest said, Let be, let us see whether Eliyahu will come to save him. Yahusha, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up his ruach. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in two from the top to the bottom, and the earth did quake, and the rocks rent, and the graves were opened, and many bodies of the Kodashim which slept arose, and came out of the graves after his resurrection, and went into the holy city, and appeared unto many, now, when the centurion and they that were with him, watching eth Yahusha, saw eth the earthquake, and eth those things that were done, they feared greatly, saying, Truly this was the son of Elohim. And many women were there beholding afar off, which followed Yahusha from Galil, ministering unto him, among which was Miriam of Migdal, and Miriam, the mother of Yaakov and Yosef, and the mother of Zabdi's children. When the evening was come, there came a rich man of, rather rich man of Ramah, named Yosef, who also himself was Yahusha's Talmudi. He went to Pilate and begged the body of Yahusha. Then Pilate commanded the body to be delivered. And when Yosef had taken the body, he wrapped it in a clean linen, rather, clean linen cloth, 
and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn out in the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the door of the sepulchre and departed. And there was Miriam and Migdal and the other Miriam sitting over against the sepulchre. Now the next day that followed the day of the preparation, the chief priests and Parashim came together unto Pilate, saying, Sir, we remember that that deceiver said while he was yet alive, After three days I will rise again. Command, therefore, that the sepulchre be made sure until the third day, lest his Talmudim come by night and steal him away and say unto the people, He is risen from the dead. So the last error should be worse than the first. Pilate said unto them, Ye have a watch, go your way, make it as sure as ye can. So they went and made the sepulchre sure, sealing the stone and setting a watch.